this is Xavier from Army Recognition, reporting from DSCI 2014 in London, UK. We are now on the Iveco Defense Vehicles exhibit with Flavio Marchezzoni, Marketing Director at Iveco Defense Vehicles. Well, thank you for having us on your uh, exhibit. Uh, can you uh, present uh, every vehicle on your exhibit here at DSCI? Thank you for the opportunity. We today at the show we have the light multi-role vehicle. It's a very successful product. We sold in more than 4,000 pieces uh, in nine nations. It's here at the show at the, in one of the last uh, of the configuration we made. is the digitalized version equipped today in, in the, at the show with a Rafael weapon station carrying tour system. We also have here at the show the newly uh, developed product. It's an 8x8 amphibious. Uh, currently under test and proposed to the Marine Corps for a big project. Uh, we also have the LMV in another configuration uh, carrying a CBRN system. And last but not least, on the back of this, we have the ambulance and blue TMM uh, currently sold to the Italian Army. Let me introduce Natalio Bianchini, which will provide you more inside of uh, our product. Uh, is responsible for the armored vehicle range of our company. Well, uh, this is uh, the um, amphibious armored vehicle. We call it uh, Super V. It's a vehicle 8x8 for the landing forces, uh, which is important. This is one of the most protected vehicle in the world now, capable of swimming, and uh, doesn't need to be prepared when he escapes from water. So is ready for uh, uh, action when it comes out from water. So for which kind of uh, missions uh, was the Super AV designed? This vehicle is uh, special for landing force uh, operation and uh, where people come from, troops come from the water and or crossing rivers or cross uh, little mirrors of water. Uh, I will mm, show you the propellers and the propulsion system of, of this vehicle. So follow me. Uh, here we have uh, the two propellers in the rear part of the vehicle. This uh, uh, allowed the vehicle to go up to 10 kilometers per hour in water and uh, uh, the capability to maneuver very easily in water. In water is like a boat and on the terrain is like a tank. So this is very important for the landing operation. Please uh, give us details regarding the internal capabilities in terms of uh, infantry soldiers. Okay. Okay, well, this vehicle can carry up to 13 people inside, 10 dismounts, and the rest is, of course, uh, the, the crew, and fully, fully equipped. Uh, in terms of weapon station, uh, can carry uh, a turret of 25, 30 millimeters. Uh, we suggest, of course, a remote control weapon station in order to save space, in order to save weight, and, uh, of course, can carry also a 0 0.5 uh, uh, remote control weapon station. Please give us details regarding your involvement with the U.S. Marine yes. Program. We are participating right now in the uh, trials with the U.S. Marine Corps. We are very proud of that. And we are performing trials in the ocean and the blast test in uh, Nevada. And at the moment, uh, crossing finger, all the results are very good. We are very proud of that. And we are very proud that uh, the U.S. Marine uh, like our vehicle. Naz, thank you very much for welcoming us on board the Super AV and for all the explanations okay. you gave us. This was Xavier from Army Recognition reporting from DSCI 2013.